So let's just get right into it. I just did my brows really quickly and today we're going to try this white foundation. This is the LA Girl Pro Coverage Foundation. It's in the shade bright white, light bright, white out. Is It's in the shade white though. Literally GLM641 white foundation lightener. Medium to full coverage, smooth on wearing, flawless looking finish. I'm a little bit scared of this. I'm a little bit sad that I also couldn't get the actual concealer because it's sold out because everyone's trying this. So I just picked up the foundation, um, but I am a little bit skeptical I'm a little bit skeptical of the foundation itself just because with any drugstore stuff when you have sensitive skin like me you can sometimes like break out uh, so I'm going to prime and actually put my foundation on first and then use this like they suggest as a foundation lightener rather than put it down and mix my foundation into it and get it into my pores um, I'll stick to what I know first so priming my skin with milk hydro grip primer as I always do and then I'm gonna take my Fenty foundation this is the pro filter soft matte foundation in the shade 420 and I'm gonna take that on a brush yeah I'm gonna take that on a brush So, very liquidy, so I'm glad I did that. I'm just gonna apply it onto a really small fluffy brush just because I don't predict that I'll need that much. There's an alarming scent from this, I'm not even gonna lie. Oh my gosh, it's so white. Now I just wanna like pat it on my under eye because how I apply my concealer is like straight down my nose. I still do it that way. So in my mind, I want this area right here to be the brightest, but I don't necessarily need it to be for my whole cheek to be the brightest. It's really just the eye bag I'm trying to conceal and hide. And we'll see how that goes. And now I'm gonna go in with my concealer. I recently bought the it Cosmetics Bye Bye Under Eye Concealer, so I'm gonna use that. Blend this into the white, and this can go beyond where the white was. And sometimes I literally use my foundation brush, it's just easier and blends better. And if you need more of an angle, you don't have an angled one, I just pinch it. And, uh, I mean, I feel like that looks pretty good. Like, very alive and awake in comparison. So let's do the rest of my face. I am considering though, like, if I really do like this, I'm going to go get like a Fenty really pale foundation opposed to this because this smell. Oh my gosh, I'm scared. Okay, now I'm just gonna contour and set this. So now I'm setting my under eye with my Sasha Buttercup powder because it's much lighter than my Fenty Honey shade that I have. Because we really want this to pop or else we did all of this for basically nothing. I already like it though. Like I'm looking at it and I'm like, no, I see. I see Ooh, it's doing what it intended to do. Like my face looks like buttery. Touch of Max Burnt Pepper on the apples of my cheeks. So I'm Marie Cosmetics Golden Goddess Highlighter. Current Obsession. And we're gonna set it with the Milk Hydro Grip Set and Refresh Spray. And then I'm gonna do lashes and lip gloss and all of that and come back with my final thoughts. Okay, so this is the finished look. I feel like it's very slight, but if you go back to my Boxing Day makeup tutorial, and I'll put a picture in now, I basically use the same products except for there's white foundation now under my eyes, and I feel like this does not look like buttery, like more buttery than it did then. Like, there's something there. It did something. Like, it definitely, definitely did something. Like, I see it. Like, I, I definitely see it. The little bit of like brightness underneath the concealer that's already a lighter shade really just took it to that next level. Like, I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm here for it. I'm, I'm here for this. I, the people that are doing this aren't lying. Like, like they're not lying. It's official. I debunked it. It's not a hoax. Um, yeah. And this is great because it's like when you buy a concealer that's even darker, say for instance you're trying or your concealer is sold out and you try something else or it's you know discontinued, you can try another shade and just kind of use this to balance it out just so that you can get to that desired look. And I didn't even use that much. 
this would last forever. This looks really good. Like, this looks really, really good. I'm really, really happy with it. And at the beauty supply store, I'm pretty sure this is no more than $5, $5.99. And if it is, it's no more than $10.99. I'm here for it. I recommend. And at least now you know, since I used the foundation, that you can also use the foundation if the concealer is sold out. So don't feel bad if the concealer is not in stock at your local beauty supply store like it wasn't in stock for mine. The white foundation also does the job. But again, I recommend putting down your regular skincare routine, your regular primer, and your regular foundation and applying this on top. That way you're not just exposing your skin to something that has a very strong smell. Like, like, like a, I will, I'm not trying to be dramatic about it. Like it literally smells like paint. So please err on a side of caution with this one, especially if you have sensitive skin. But again, putting that on top of the products that you already use is probably your safest bet just to ensure that it's mixing with other things opposed to being applied directly onto your skin. But I'm a fan, I like it. And that's it. <laughs> so thank you guys so much for watching this video. If you did like it, please give it a big thumbs up, comment down below if you have any questions, comments, or concerns about anything I did today. Leave that in the comments down below. And as always, subscribe to me. You pay my bills, right? Again, thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye. I can't keep my hands off you